Let me ask you a question, man. What is the what is the rumors going on about this nation being in jail, your situation, police, warrants, law, everything that's in the news? Well, you know, it's like this, man. This ain't nothing new with my label or my neighborhood, bro. We didn't been under the gun several times in the media. You know, it, it goes all the way back from pizza places to banks, and now it's on some drug shit. Well, make a long story short, an indictment came out a little over a year ago. Had 30 something names on it. A bunch of the names was people affiliated with my label. So be it. Uh, not a lot of them was artists. Only about two of them was artists. A lot of them dudes was just dudes affiliated to deal with us. So the, um, the indictment come out, dudes go to jail, all the shit. Uh, one of my close partners is one of the main dudes on the indictment, Miami the most. Free my neck, Miami. But anyway, so uh, Miami, um, he basically got caught into a sting, you feel me? He got caught in with the police. He didn't even know he was dealing with the police for like four years. He tricked him, you feel me? He thought he really had a regular, and he was really regularly dealing with the police. So that, in turn, got a whole bunch of people caught up, you know what I mean? And um, me not being one of them. Everybody be like, yo, Diggs, you didn't get indicted, you didn't get indicted. Nah, Diggs didn't get indicted, you feel me? I don't play with drugs. So that's one of the reasons I didn't get indicted. Number two, I did my time in the pen for the shit that I'm gonna do. Next day I'm going to the penitentiary for what's gonna be. Well, you know, you get the point. But anyway. So um, where does the where does the rumor start with people putting your name in the paperwork and saying that you had more information about the cases than what you actually did? Oh, uh, you know that was you know at the end of the day that was a game. Everybody know me, and they know I go extremely hard on rats. So it's kind of like, you know, in, in today's society, man, you see it every day. Every day, you open up your Instagram, you open up your Twitter, and you see pictures of, of your favorite celebrity in the most fucked up manner that you ever want to see them in. Because that's what people can do right now. They can take these computers and shit, and they can graphic up anything. So somebody felt that they wanted to play with me, knowing that I am the most anti-rap rapper going, slash gangster and everything else. So that was a hit to me. So, you know, I, 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 I applaud the dude that tried it, you feel me? Because he really rubbed me the wrong way. But at the same time, he got himself in some trouble too. And what had happened was, is when the indictments came out, you know, they had, they had the, the, somebody decided to get on the computer and make this fake paperwork and say that I ratted on my homeboy in Miami on some old shit that I told the police on him to get the indictment started or some shit on him. Some old, you know, real bullshit. And, and like I say, my, anybody that know me know that that was just some bullshit from the gate. But me, myself, I, I, I'm, I'm so, so particular with this subject that I went hard to let the world know that I don't play like that. So I, 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 I um, attacked anything that I thought that might have had something to do with it, I hit. Do you feel like addressing the issue is hurting it or helping it? Uh, you know, for, for real, for real, um, addressing the issue for me is helping him. And it's helping some of you motherfuckers that got the wrong idea that might think y'all want to say the wrong thing to me. See, because that's what happened. Because see, first of all, let me state this. I am not no rapper. I would cut my tongue out of my mouth before I tell him a man. You feel me? A man told on me and sent me to prison for 10 years. So my, my understanding with rapping is zero. So for me to be labeled as something that I can't stand the most, is an insult, it's a slap in my face. So when the person did that and put that paperwork out on me, they slapped the shit out of me in my face. And when you slap a man, the first thing a man want to do is strike back. So yeah, I start hitting everything moving. Because I'm just one of them type of people, if I couldn't get to the bottom of it, I'm going to hit anything I think didn't like me, didn't want to be around me, didn't, didn't like the people around me, I don't give a fuck who it was. Everything in that circle got hit. And I'm sure somewhere in that circle, I hit the motherfucker that hit me. And that's just how the game goes. Sometimes you gotta, you gotta take out everybody, you know, it's like the government. <laughs> where, do, where does this leave the current status of your label, Thiz Entertainment? I mean, we still rocking. We still rocking. You see what it is, man. Every, every, every couple months, you, you, you wake up and you get on the computer and there it is again, man. Mac Dre, Steers Nation. We stay in the headlines because we we a real movement, man. We not just no no couple of rappers. We wasn't just a rap label. This shit right here is a movement, man. And I vowed after my dude died that I would make sure his name lived forever. And that's why every time you turn around, 
that these other rappers from these other cities and these other states, man, they come visit the Bay and they and they give props and they pay homage to my dude Mac Dre, man, because at the end of the day, we the pioneers of this underground rap shit. Mm. You feel me? We real pioneers, especially where we from. You feel me? And I, I, I got a song on my new album that really addressed that. That like, you know what I mean? We was doing this shit, you know, before Snoop, before Tupac. You know what I mean? It was Mac Dre on the streets of the Bay Area. You feel me? So we we we've been in this game for a long time, man. We we we've developed fans. We've raised fans. We've raised their kids. They damn near raised their kids. You feel me? So what we got is a lot stronger than just some people that just start listening to our music. Uh, a few months ago or a few years ago. We got a real movement, man. So it's hard to stop the nation, man. Real Thiz fans is going to be here forever. You know what I mean? They're going to love our music. They're going to love our movement. They're going to love what we did and what we do. Would you say the gossip hurts you? Uh, it, it, it goes it goes two ways, you know what I mean? It, it, it can hurt you. It can hurt you depending on what the gossip is. No, I'm speaking to you personally. Me personally? Well, no, nah, you know, me personally, it don't hurt me. You know what I mean? Because first of all, my fans expect anything out of me anyway. You know what I mean? Last thing they expect is some snitching bullshit, so that wasn't nothing. But, you know, they it, it, as far as gossip... That's just what the streets thrive off of. That's what the world thrive off of. You know, it's always going to be something said. It's like right now, you know, every time I come in any contact with the law, first thing that happens is they throw that shit all over the social media. That shit is in the news. And and nine times out of ten, they twist the story up. You know, over the last year, I done been arrested for attempted murder. I done been arrested for murder. I done been arrested for drugs. I done been arrested for everything except the truth. Because I ain't been arrested for none of that shit. But if you look into the social media or if you look on Google, my name is going to say all that shit. So, you know, one thing about gossip is it, it, it start off, you know, it might start off the truth. But by the time it gets to the rest of the world, it'd be so much bullshit that people don't even know what to decipher. And, and, and it, going back to the snitching shit, you know, somebody decided that they wanted to poison my name. And it made a few people who didn't know no better, look at me in a whole different way. So that was a hurtful blow. You feel me? When I got fans, it was like, oh, damn, I used to like this. And they thinking that I'm told on somebody. You know what I'm saying? That's fucked up. And for a motherfucker to look at me like that, I'm like, man, hold on. You got the wrong one. So I'm always, that's the one thing that I try to clear. It's a lot of shit that I hear in the streets with my name that I don't even, you know, I blow by. I don't even pay no attention to it because that's just what it is. But anytime it got to do with some ratting or some shit like that, I address it straight out. I don't play with that shit, and I'm not going to play with it. It must be strange for you because you have such a really strong social networking presence as far as Twitter, you know, Instagram, Facebook, so on and so forth. So for the social networks to bite back at you and be used against you, how does that make you feel? I don't give a fuck about all that. That's what the world is based on right now. You know, that's what it is. Social networks. Like, every day somebody trying to figure out a new way to touch the world. So, you know, it ain't no more... You can't hide your business no more. Basically, that's what it is. So, you know, and especially when you're in this entertainment world, you know, you expect that. And like I say, you know, I wake up and I go down my, my, my Twitter or my, my Instagram and I'm always seeing some old weird-ass pictures of, of celebrities and shit that I know that there's some bullshit but that's just people playing on on their social network, twisting the nigga, got niggas looking like they kissing each other, doing all kind of old weird shit. So I expect that as me being an artist in the game. So far, ain't no bullshit like that happen outside of the, the fake paperwork. But I expect people to to try to you know damage my character. But that's why I'm here now. You know what I mean? Like anybody that, that know me, and if you don't know me, you know what I mean. If you a, a, a judge of character, you any kind of good judge of character, you can read a person, and you know when you're dealing with a real motherfucker, or you're dealing with some bullshit. You feel me? And that's one of the things that 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 keeps my fans and keep people clung to me is that they deal with a real motherfucker and they like that. Anybody that's, that, that's associated with something real, you always want to be a part of that. And people be always wondering like, damn man, people love you in the streets, man. Why they love you? I don't rap that goddamn good, nah. But I keep it that goddamn real. Although you get a lot of love in the streets, man, no one can overlook how many times you are in beef with somebody some type of way. What's going on now? What you got cooking down in the kitchen? 
Oh, you know, it, and you know, that's that's another thing. It's just part of part of that's more part of life than anything. Like, hey, you know, you can't be friends with everybody. You know, everybody not gonna love you. And every now and then you gonna have some bullshit, especially in this entertainment world. I try to keep at peace with as many people as possible. You know what I mean? I ain't gonna, I ain't got no problems with no whole bunch of people. But if a problem do occur, you know, my business do hit the streets, and I'm and I'm I'm just one of them aggressive dudes. Like I'm offense. I don't play no defense. I'm not a tuck tail. None of that shit. I'm not gonna do none of that shit. If I got a problem with somebody or something, I'm gonna address that shit. And speaking of which, let's talk about problems. Just recently, social media again, once again, I, I got on and I said, uh, fuck your mouth. And everybody was kind of confused. Like, man, what the fuck is that all about? Everybody was getting at me like, damn, why you go off on your mouth like that? And, and I'm just gonna keep it 100. I used to fuck with Yuck Tuck. Matter of fact, I was a Yuck Mouth fan. Used to be one of my favorite rappers out of the Bay Area. Notice I said used to be. But, uh, and me and Yuck used to fuck with each other. Like, I used to go to L.A. when he lived in L.A., pull up to a studio, smoke with him and all the shit. So I considered him one of my partners. He fucked with Dre and all the shit, you know. But at some point in time, over the last few years, me and Yuck relationship did this. And I don't know why, you know, I'm a man, so I, you know, I don't cling to men and no shit like that. But I was trying to figure out what the fuck had happened. And um, I, I narrowed it down to where it started at. And it, it started a few years ago when I was in Kansas City. I was recording a street ball album with Rich the Factor. And I'll never forget this shit. It had to be about 4 o'clock in the morning. And my phone was ringing several times. And I was in the booth recording, and I kept seeing Cuzzo Fly name pop on the screen. So eventually I came out the booth and answered the phone. And Cuzzo asked me, Diggs, man. He said, man, Yuck wanna holler at you. Oh, okay, throw him on. I don't know what's happening. Yuck, what's up, Cuddy? So he get on the phone, he yuck like Diggs. What's up with it? He say, um, you still fuck with the nigga should? So yeah, you know that's my nigga. He say, man, can you get at that nigga, man? That nigga just stripped me. I'm like, damn, you know, I'm kinda confused what's going on, but I'm like, you know, strip you, okay. Can you, you know, call and see what's up? I said, okay, I'll give him a call and see what's up, yup. So I get off the phone with yup. I call my nigga Shug. Shug, phone, go straight to voicemail. Mind you, like I said, I was in the middle of recording the album. So I went right back in the booth, finished doing what I was doing, all the shit. Well, I never did talk to Shug that night. The next morning I get up and this shit all over TMZ, all over the news, all over the internet. The shit night, Rob. Yep, my. It's not my business. I didn't really trip on it. You know what I mean? I know both of the niggas, so I wasn't taking no sides. I left the shit alone. None of my business. Hey. A few months go by. The motherfucker pulled me to the side and say, "Did you hear the song about Yep, my? You hear the song about Yep, my? I'm like, nah. He said, "Yeah, it's on the Tonight Show, man. Listen to this." So he, he played the song. So I'm listening to the song. And I'm like, damn, you know, you can always tell when a little certain shit is supposed to be about you, you know, a touching home and shit, you know. It's a part about how you let a nigga take, take your nigga chain, and you taking pictures with him on the internet, you know, and everybody know I fuck with Suge, so it's hella pictures of me and Suge all on the internet together. So I'm like, damn, I wonder if the cutty talking about me. But I wasn't sure. So once again, you know, I just sat back and picked it. Then the fake paperwork come out. So when that came out, you know, I went crazy on social networks. I got it at everybody, man. Don't play with me with no motherfucking snitching because I don't do that shit. So I'm going crazy because I want the world to, to pay attention to me. So I'm, 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 you know, everybody was saying, man, you're doing too much on, on Twitter. No, I'm doing just enough to get your attention and everybody else's attention to let them know what the fuck not to do when you see me. So a fan hit me out of nowhere like Diggs. I think Yuck trying you. So I go on Yuck page and I, I see a... Uh, yeah, it's always the niggas that holler about rats that end up being the rat. The paperwork out on you, nigga, you working with them boys. So I'm like, wow. Did this nigga just hit me? Like, I'm going crazy telling niggas don't play with me like this, and then I go on my nigga page, or who I think my nigga, and he hit me. So I'm, you know, I had to, I'm contemplating this shit. I'm like, damn. So I get at you. You know, I didn't jump, you know. Man, Cuddy, who a rat? You know what I mean? Throw that shit out there. So he tell me, you know, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't no Twitter shit. I'm like, man, if it's a rat, you supposed to expose them on Twitter or whatever the fuck. You know what I mean? 
I said, somebody played with me like that. You know what I mean? I'm getting at him. And you can check the stats. It's all on Twitter. If you go back, I don't know what the date was. But it's all on there. You feel me? So I was kind of in my feelings because I felt like my nigga hit me, and he did. At the end of the day, he did. So this shit was just building up inside me. You know what I mean? I was like, damn. You feel me? How should I play this? Because I really fucked with Young. Like I told you, I was a fan of his music and everything. And then it just got to the point one day, man, I just... It's like, man, fuck this nigga. Fuck yeah. You feel me? And then... My nigga called me and told me, hey, you see Yuck new interview? I'm like, nah, what interview? Pull up Yuck interview and he... He talking about, you know, Dre and how, you know... He felt like his United Ghettos DVD Catapult to Dre, he probably wouldn't have been as big and all the shit. And you know what? To keep it 100, a lot of the shit Yuck said was true. You feel me? We, our, our first good look was on this DVD and all the shit, right? But the way he was saying it and the things that he was saying, I was kind of confused. Like, my nigga been dead eight years. Like, why after eight years would you try to come take credit for his fame and shit? You feel me? Like, you know... People love Drake because he was Drake. They didn't love Drake because they just seen him on United Ghettos of America. What United Ghettos of America did do is it gave him a great idea to do a great DVD too. So yeah, I'll give you credit for that. That DVD started some of the DVDs that's coming out of the Bay Area. But to try to take credit for my nigga's uh, success or his fame or to say he probably wouldn't have been as big as he was, that's a slap in our face. You feel me? So that's why a lot of my cutties took that shit personal. You feel me? That's why when, when, when nigga seen that, I was like, wow. And then my nigga dead. Like, you know, if you felt that way, you could have said that when Trio TV 1 came out. You could have said that shit when Dre was alive. You feel me? So, you know, just keep it 100, man, nigga. You know, it is what it is. I said what I said on uh, on Twitter to Yuck. I told him what I said. I'm going to slap the shit out of him. And he told me, he know, I know who his peoples is and all the shit and all the shit. So we had our wires. And that's what it was. We had our wires. Now, what them wires turned into, God, nobody knows. Them was wires. But that was the situation me and Yuck Ma. <laughs> I see you later, Yuck Ma. Give us an update on what you were saying about the news stories on Google. Well, you know, it's, it's like this, man. You know, just like the internet, it, it, these news and these, 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 these news stations, these social networks, it's hard to believe a lot of shit you hear and read. Like, here it is, I go to jail in Hawaii, and what's this? BET News? Yeah, BET News. Jay Diggs arrested for attempted murder. I didn't get arrested for no goddamn attempted murder. That's BET News? That's BET News. That's what they did to me. Scroll down, let me see. You it. feel me? My mama woke up and read this shit. I'll scroll up. My mama woke up and read this shit. You feel me? So I had to, to explain to everybody, yeah, I got in some trouble out there, but I didn't get arrested for attempted murder. What the fuck that sound like? Well, you Google my name, that pop up attempted murder. So yeah, clear the rumors. No, I didn't get arrested for attempted murder. I did get into some trouble. I did have to beat somebody ass, but I didn't attempt to murder. And then, in return, I get pulled over in Utah for having my high beams on, right? And I get arrested for a warrant out of Hawaii. And first of all, I wasn't even supposed to have a warrant in Hawaii. So they took me to Utah jail, and this is what they put on allhiphop.com the next morning. I didn't get arrested on no fucking drug charges. My car smelled like weed. I went to jail for a warrant out of Hawaii and was released within 48 hours once the judge in Hawaii found out I was in jail and I wasn't supposed to have a warrant because I already had a court date in Hawaii. But this, once again, is what the media did to me. Oh, my nigga should have got a movie coming out. That's what's up. Uh, that wasn't part of the script, but that just, you know, popped up on me. But yeah, so that's what, you know, that's what, that's what the, uh, the media do to you, you know what I mean? Um, as well as some of these jerks, like I said, you play with.